Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble has taken center stage as he tries to help solve the country's political crisis. Roble met with the presidents of Galmadug and Hershebeli Wednesday, as well as key opposition figures. The Prime Minister visited the residence of Galmadug leader Ahmed Korkor for the meeting. Beside President Ali Gudlawi of Hershebeli, also present were former President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, previous Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khari, and Wadajir Party leader Abdi Rahman Abdi Shakur. Abdi Shakur afterwards tweeted that the group had agreed to work together on security and conducting an inclusive and peaceful election. Korkor, Gudlawi, and Southwest State President Abdi Aziz Loftegreen Tuesday came out against the two-year government extension. Roble joined their position the same day. The opposition leaders had been calling on the international community to take action against President Mohamed Formaggio because of the extension passed by the National Assembly. Formaggio Tuesday night went on TV to call on the legislature to rescind the move. A special session has been called for Saturday. The parliament reacted sharply to potentially harmful rumors circulating Wednesday that the May 1st program would include removing Roble from his post. A series of statements were released categorically rejecting the idea. The U.S. weighed in early Thursday, calling on Formaggio and the parliament to annul the extension. It praised Roble and state leaders for their stance against the legislation. All leaders must set aside their political aspirations and differences for the good of the Somali people and negotiate in good faith, without preconditions and with a willingness to compromise. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price also added Washington's concern over security in Somalia. We also call on Somalia's security forces and all armed groups to stand down and allow political dialogue to resume in an atmosphere free from violence and intimidation. 60 to 100,000 residents fled the capital after gunfire between rival forces in Mogadishu Sunday. Formaggio's address appears to have calmed the situation. The Puntland government has issued a statement rejecting participation in new election talks unless invited by an international third party. The International Crisis Group has been calling for direct intervention by foreign partners by hosting and mediating talks. ADN-TV will continue to update you on any progress toward elections in Somalia.